Trey, I want to thank you for meeting me today. Son, you may not know it, but this meeting right here will change your life. Man, I don't know about all that, Rev, but you know what? You are good people, so that's why I'm here. And that right there is what I'm talking about, son. You saw something good and you allowed it to come into your life. Oh, hold up, Rev. Man, you ain't trying to compare one meeting to all that BS that's going on in the world out there. Come on, man. Hell no. That ain't the same. Now, wait one minute, Trey. See, that's part of the problem. We can't always jump to conclusions or make rash decisions before we find out the message of what God is trying to give us. You see what I'm saying? Nah, nah, man. I, I don't know if I get what you're saying, Rev. To me, it just sounds like you're tripping off some holy roller type shit, man. Come on, you, you got to come real than that. No, that is not what I'm saying, Trey. But you have to realize that God is giving you the opportunity to make a conscious effort to fight violence and resistance with peace, love, and ultimately allowance. Okay, okay, okay. So what you're saying is, I should love the people I hate and do good to others for no apparent reason? Is, is that what I'm hearing? Exactly, Trey. And that's what they want you to think. To never be conscious of your true power that lies within your heart. If you look around the world today, so many people think that their life is old because a certain person was elected or the government decided to do something that showed that something we've all known all along that they could care less about humanity. You see, son, you must take it upon yourself to be a warrior of the light and combat darkness each and every chance that you get. Man, yo, I, I, I hear you, Rev. I hear you, I really hear you, but you know, tell me this, man. How am I supposed to forget the wrongs that have been done to me? Huh? How am I supposed to forget all the stuff that people have taken away from me in my life, man? How am I supposed to forget when one of my homies got shot up by somebody who didn't even know them, man? Come on! Huh? How am I supposed to forget? <sighs> Trey, look at me. Look at me, son. And listen closely. You don't forget. You don't ever forget. You allow those things to make you better, to make you a better man. More importantly, Trey, you have to forgive, son. Until we all learn to forgive, we will be stuck in a cycle of hate as opposed to a cycle of love where we all belong. And where there is love, Trey, listen, there is consciousness.